Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Heartland Season 14 Episode 3 trailer or first look that was released yesterday on the Heartland YouTube channel. If you guys have not seen the trailer for Heartland 1403, I will leave a link down in the description for you guys to go check it out. I recommend you do because I honestly think that this episode is going to be one of the best of Heartland Season 14 and I am just so excited to see this episode but before i go any further in this video i need to remind you guys to please leave a like on this video if you enjoy and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to help me reach the goal of 20,000 subscribers i would really really appreciate that and i promise to keep you guys as up to date as possible on everything heartland season 14 related so with that being said if you want daily heartland videos and season 14 updates make sure you hit the red subscribe button down below it only takes two seconds and it would make me very very happy but with that youtube out of the way let's finally jump into today's video so I have said for a while if you guys have been, have been subscribed to my channel for a while I've said that Heartland 1403 is probably going to be one of my favorite episodes of this season my favorite episode is going to be any episode that Michelle Morgan directs duh and, but I'm just so excited for Heartland 1403 because of the return of Lily Borden now for some reason if you guys do not remember who Lily is she is Ty's mother and she is played by Megan Follows in the Heartland series and she is returning again in Heartland season 14 for the first time in Heartland 1403 since uh, Ty's death in the events of Heartland 1401. So I am super excited for this episode. I love Lily. She's one of my favorite characters, probably because whenever Lily arrives to Heartland, there's always something that goes wrong or drama starts or something like that. You guys know that I love dramatic storylines. They're one of my favorite storylines uh, to cover on this channel simply because it allows for more speculation and theories for me to make because dramatic storylines lead to more storylines because there's more, um, I guess, choices slash options when it comes to dramatic storylines. So they're my favorite kind of storylines, not just in Heartland, but in any TV show. I love dramatic uh, TV shows, and I love dramatic storylines. And Heartland ha is no stranger to dramatic storylines, especially when it involves Lily. So I am super excited for Heartland 1403, and when I watched the first look or trailer, um, two things really stood out to me. One, Amy is working with horses again, and two, Amy is not happy that Lily is there, which I found very interesting because throughout the Heartland series, throughout the Heartland series, sorry, we haven't really seen Amy get upset at anyone, really, and with this, uh sneak peek or trailer or first look whatever you want to consider it amy is not happy that lily's there at all so much to the point that she's like i think you need to get in your car and drive out of here and i was just like oh that's new okay now i know and i've said before and i'll continue to say it again that heartland season 14 is a very different season of heartland um heartland season 14 is the most dramatic season of Heartland in Heartland uh, history because of how the season opened and just what the season is dealing with storyline wise um, throughout season 14. So I'm not surprised that we're getting uh, this kind of reaction from Amy because Amy throughout season 14 is dealing with the death of her husband and um, you know, that is going to obviously bring challenges for Amy and also storyline wise and character wise for any TV show. Uh, the death of any main character, um, always brings character development for the characters that are left behind. So, um, I'm wondering if, uh, Ty's death is going to bring about a different side of Amy that we haven't seen before and maybe this was just 
the beginning of it, her kind of getting mad at, at Lily. And the reason that she's mad at Lily, at least what I'm what I'm seeing from the trailer and what I think, is that this is the first time Lily's been back to Heartland since the events of Heartland 1401 and Ty's death. And Amy doesn't like that. So much to the point that she says, she says, "What are you doing? He what are you doing here after all this time?" And by that, I'm guessing she means, "Why weren't you here before now?" Because remember, um, with Heartland season 14, yes, it opened with the deaths of Ty in 1401, but then all the rest of the episodes. Remember, there's a year in between the event of Ty's death and the rest of season 14. So that means this is the first time that um, Amy or any of the Heartland family have seen Lily since Ty's death a year ago. So Amy is not happy about that and she tells Lily to just get in her car and go. Now, I I'm also wondering another thing. In the preview, which is separate to the first look slash trailer, I don't know why they upload two separate sneak peeks, but you know what? It provides more content for me, so I'm fine with that. We also see that Lily arrives to Heartland with a racehorse. Yes, you heard me right. Why does Lily have a racehorse? I don't know. Now, when I thought about this more, and after putting the two, um trailers together and kind of, you know, thinking thinking of them as one trailer and not two separate trailers, I was like, what if Lily comes to Heartland with the racehorse as an excuse to come to Heartland and she gets Amy to work with the horse and that is how Amy gets back into working with horses. Now, if that is the case, I really like that. I like how Lily is the reason that Amy gets back uh, to work with horses um, because we haven't seen Amy work with horses in season 14 and we also know that she hasn't worked with horses since Ty's death which again I need to remind you guys was a year ago um, or a year prior to the events of Heartland season 14. So I really like that storyline if if Lily comes to Heartland um, with a racehorse as an excuse to come to Heartland, but then as a result, Amy starts working with horses again. I really like that, and I think that that would be a really cool storyline. But just besides that, I'm so excited uh, for 1403, because as I said, Lily is one of my favorite characters. I think she should have been uh, in Heartland more for two reasons. One, she's Ty's mother, and two, she's Lindy's grandmother. So I don't know why she wasn't in this show more, um, especially because she's Lindy's only living grandmother. I d okay, um, but I'm just super excited for 1403, and I am very excited to see what Lily is really doing at Heartland and why she just all of a sudden showed up, because going by the trailer, she hasn't been there since Ty's death. So why now, and what do you need, and what's going to happen? But that is basically all I have for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of the first look or trailer for Heartland 1403. What do you guys think of Lily's return to Heartland? Do you think it's going to result in some kind of blow up? Because keep in mind, we also have the scene or dialogue from the Heartland Season 14 extended trailer in which she's getting mad at Amy, saying, why couldn't you see he needed help when you're so good at that in horses? I have, or you're so good at seeing that in horses, why couldn't you see that he needed help? I have so many questions about that sentence, and I don't know. I'm so excited for Heartland 1403, but again, that's all I have for today's video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. What do you guys think is going to happen, and what do you think of Lily's return to Heartland a year after Ty's death? Let me know down in the comment section down below. But with that being said, I'm going to go. Goodbye.